Hello and welcome to another Adventures of Scott and Michelle. Today's adventure takes you to Mineral Point, Wisconsin. And we are going to be doing the Ice Lantern Festival and Chili Cook-Off. Uh, it is uh, Saturday, uh, February 15th. I guess this is always something they do like in mid-February. Uh, mid um, and luckily we got pretty decent weather today. It's, uh, it's about 34 and, uh, 34 and sunny, which is a lot better than one degree above zero last night when we came to uh, uh, came to the area so the weather's pretty good and um, we are in southwestern Wisconsin about, about an hour like west of, uh, of, of Madison Wisconsin so join us on one of our adventures thanks thank you This is one of the nicest small towns in America. Yeah, this is a really nice town in Mineral Point. They have like all these little like... Oh, there's a lot of little gift shops, antique stores. And they have like these little like ice, 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 um... These are like, uh... So, well, we've seen some with candles inside of them. Yeah, so... so. I, I don't know uh, if they're going to be putting in color lights in here later or something. Yeah. Well, I don't know. This, this is our first time for us. Yeah, so pretty neat. Yeah. And I love it how they have like these little shops along the way too. Pretty neat. So I'm taking this is where you go and maybe get the tickets on right over here. I'm gonna read them though at first. I can't believe it. There's only four. And I guess what they are doing is they're lighting them up with candles. That's pretty neat. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. There he is lighting it up. And this, folks, is where you get your tickets for the chili. Hello. I'm good. This is sort of confused. Okay, we got our tickets and our voting chip. Uh, the uh, tickets, I guess, are um, $1 a piece. Uh, what you do is that you can get what's known as a taste at each stand, which I guess is like a a, a two ounce cup, and then or which is worth one ticket, or you can get like a four, I believe a four ounce cup for uh, for uh, or no, or it's either four ounce or it's a little bit bigger, and it would be for four for four tickets, and then we get one um, loading chip that we'll use for our favorite. Well, let's go taste our chili, hon. Yeah. It's so thick, we've had oh. to use two spoons. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's try the first one. So now we're going to try out our first chili and see how it tastes. This is the Spady family. It's nice. I, I know it has a little kick. I, I, I tried the first sample before giving it to her. Yeah, this is, this is really 
This is similar to the Gatlinburg Chili Kickoff, but on a way, way much smaller scale. And uh, way colder. Yeah, it's probably easily about 15 to 20 degrees colder than it typically is when we're down there in Tennessee in November. That was good. Okay, well we got seven more to try. Spoon or no, not? Well, you just, thank you. Yep, you just yeah. throw it right in there. Yeah. No, we have that a little And then they got cheese and okay. oyster crackers, and onions if you want. Yeah. I always put a little raw onions in with my. Oh, yeah, you have to. Yeah. I'll try it first and yeah. then I'll have my yeah. wife do the onions. <laughs> okay. Here's the onion fan. Yeah. Okay, what's this one, hon? It's by Jerry Dale. Okay, this is by Jerry Dale. Nice taste. Nice taste. A little bit watery, but it has a good flavor. I think because of the green, the, there's green pepper in here. Ooh. That, so that, that, that makes fries for a nice flavor. Now you can go get some onions. I like it. So far, the competition's pretty good here. Oh, yeah. What's also neat is Michelle is standing um, in front of an old Ben Franklin store. Yes, this is an original five and dime store. It's like, I thought they were all gone. <laughs> It was open. The, it was open the last time we came to town. <laughs> mm -hmm. Closed today, I guess. It was open earlier, but oh. I'm guessing they closed around five. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay. This is. Okay. Now we are on to our third sample of chili. I'll just look at that chili. Oh, does that look good? All right. Now, I'm going to tell you that that is fresh jalapeno, so if you like it, this is kind of a medium, mild to medium. Okay. So if you like a little extra kick, and then that's fresh cilantro. So if you, and everything else seems pretty self-explanatory, right? Okay, honey, so uh, what kind of chili is this? Basically, basically just meat, beans, so I added in some cilantro and cheese. And Sour cream. Okay. Very good. Nice meaty. Not too watery. Well, almost just right. And what would this be? This is. Yeah, this was Ann and Melissa's chili. Very good. No, no, just beef. We got beef and we got skinny beef and Melissa's chili. I'm going to try it. And then it's a mild to medium. So if you want to go to the kit, there's some fresh jalapeno, some cilantro, and then obviously your sour cream. Alright. Come back to my bowl. Oh, wow. It's my mom's special recipe. Oh, God. I grew up on this stuff. This is why I grew up to be like, you know, a spectacular person. So far, what do you think? So far, pretty good. <laughs> okay, so it's a toss between this chili that I'm eating right now and the first one that we tried. So I'm far. sort of thinking the same. Even though I did sort of like Jerry's, it's a just the only issue I have is just a little bit runny. That's all. But it was rosemary. All three of them have been tasty. All three of them have definitely been tasty. There's only like eight vendors here. Um, 
When we go to the one in Gatlinburg, they have like 26 vendors. And uh, most of them are good at that one too, but there's always at least two or three maybe I'm not crazy about. Oh yeah, so far we've all liked all of them. Okay, so now we're going to try out Claire Johnson's chili. Looks really good. <laughs> Okay, so this is Claire Johnson's chili. Lots of vegetables. If you love vegetables, you love this. Chili? Not bad. It's always a unique taste. Hmm, okay. So. You like the chickens? Yeah. So, so what do you think? Okay. Okay, now we are going to taste the Huron family. Chili. Oh, and that looks really good. Okay, this chili I'm gonna try. The other chili I wasn't too crazy about because I really do not like vegetables in my chili. So I was kind of threw me off, but I'm gonna try this one and see how this one tastes. Yeah, this is by the Hearn family. Um, That's a good taste. So what what does it have? So it's it's got like a little bit of beans, tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of meat. Mm-hmm. All right. And it does sort of have a little kick to it, but it, it does taste pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we can keep that in mind. Yes. Okay, this chili is from the doings. Um, it smells rather good. Just see how it tastes. Is it good? <laughs> Your facial expressions are good. Oh my god, honey, this is like really, really good. Okay, I can't wait to try. think of what kind of beans they use but it tasted rather good nah, well some sort of kidney bean I'm not too sure about the other but these are beans are really good yeah really good and tasty too super high fiber chili oh yeah okay honey so so far what do you think they're all pretty good. Uh, the first, the first three for me have been probably the best. For me, the first, the first three. Yeah, I say so too. The, the, the last 
uh, these last two here were were, 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 were were decent though. Yeah, they were. Oh my lord. Oh <laughs> god, yeah. <laughs> it was like one above zero. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> that would be a chili chili tip off. I thought that was funny. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks really good. It still feels cold, but it's like 28 degrees warm. <laughs> You have a spoon, correct? Yeah. Got it. Thank you so much. So, uh, what do you think, honey? This Almost is the, the cookers. Best. Almost the cookies. The cookies. Sorry. Very good. Very good. It's pretty good. I like the whole tomatoes. I, I tasted the whole tomato. Um, this is very good. It has a slight kick to it, but it's rather good. Yeah. It's, it might be hard to pick a winner tonight. Extremely hard, but so far I'm I'm really thinking this one. Okay. But here it has to be like almost like a unanimous decision because it's sort of weird. You have to get like they only give you a token per eight tickets you buy. So we only bought like nine tickets, a ticket to taste each stand and then one for uh, one ticket for a uh, diet soda. But so far I like this one, but it does have a kick. Well, the last one we have to go to is the Packer table. I'll try not to be biased. <laughs> I was wearing my bear's hat a second ago and getting some Snickers, you know, walking around. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but no, we do love Wisconsin people. We love Wisconsin people. Yes. No, we do at least respect the Packers. We yes, may we not do. we may not necessarily love the Packers. But we do uh respect them. The whole state love you know, the whole state loves them and yeah. they're owned by the you know, the citizens of Green Bay, so yeah. But sorry, born and bred a bears fan. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, honey, so what do you think of the Packers chili? It's actually quite tasty. If you're at Lambeau Field or Soldier's Field, I think you'd find like this chili. Tastes rather good. It's a little watery, but not, not bad. It's almost my favorite. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, folks, so it's uh, decision making time. Um, I don't know, I really like the one before the Packers. I think it was the cookies chili. I, I, I thought it tasted pretty rather good. It had a lot of meat to it. Um, me, I don't know. I sort of really like the first two, okay. and then maybe the Hearn family. And then, and then actually the last two. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, for some reason, I just like the, the cookie family. I thought it was rather good. It had some meat to it. It did have a, you know, kind of a kick to it, but it tasted rather good. But since we only have one coin, we need to be a consensus. So do you want the, the one, if you like the cookies, maybe we should vote for the cookies. Yeah. 
I, I really like the cookies jelly. I thought it was rather good. All right. All right. Well, we'll give our vote to them. I think we will. Okay. Competition was very, very good. Very good. You know, out of eight, I would say six or seven were, yeah. were actually pretty good. Or we're actually pretty good, yeah. Hey guys, how are you? Oh. Hi. You will win the point. <laughs> Where are we going? I'm still going with the cook family. Cookie. The cookies. <laughs> the cookies. I think the cookie monster would like that one too. <laughs> So we did our vote for the chili uh, cook-off. We actually went with the cookie family. Thought their chili tasted rather good. It was a little spicy, but it was rather good. I ate most of it. Um, and then we we're actually we're walking, and we came across a, an old True Value hardware. Store. An old True Value hardware store. Wow. There's still a True Test Pizza ad up there too. Yeah, an old, an old uh, True Test quality paints ad uh, for the True Value uh, paints. Wow, that is really neat. Wow. If you're into quality signs, that would be a nice one to have. Oh yeah, definitely, huh? Now the ice culture thing is through town. It's not, or just through downtown. It's not just on the street. Yeah. So we could walk. That was actually reasonable. It, I liked it quite a bit. I like doing this quite a bit. Yeah, this is really good. And we didn't spoil our dinner, you know, we still go out for dinner, you know, like, ooh, this is a cool, oh, there's a couple cool sculptures here. Now that is really cool. That's supposed to be like, uh, maybe like an Egyptian, if you look at it, it almost looks like a face, like, like, it's supposed to be like, supposed to be like a... Oh yeah, sort of uh, like an Egyptian. Yeah, an Egyptian or African, uh... Mm -hmm. Walk Prince like an Egyptian. Yeah. Yeah. This one is really neat. They must be related. Yeah, we just love walking through this town. A lot of these are buildings are made out of like nice stone and brick. Yeah, it's really nice. There's a lot of like different like neat art shops. Mm-hmm. Plenty of bars along the way too if you like to drink. Oh yeah. There's some more ice sculptures. Now this is quite a nice sculpture. They really put a lot of work into this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, what's the difference? Snowflakes. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. is so neat. I didn't know it was this time of year. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. How's the now that was a pretty ice sculpture that we oh, saw. God. But the store we were in before was pretty unique. They had a lot of old vintage stereos and record players. It was rather nice, but I know they don't like allow videotaping, so we, you know, didn't do too much in there, but we did browse around, but it was really nice. I just love this town, Mineral Point. They have, like, 
so many little neat shops that you can just go in and and uh, walk around and stuff. It has an active arts community too. Oh yeah. Uh, there's a lot of artists here. Uh, there's yeah, also tons few, of artists a here. A few small hotels and bed and breakfasts uh, uh, as well. Yeah. And I think the jewelry. Oh, no. Um, no, the jewelry store is closed. Yeah. I just think it's neat how they have like these little ice uh, candles. It's so neat. They call them ice lanterns. Yes. Okay, ice lanterns. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm the one that said ice candles first. Ice candles, ice lanterns. It's like the same thing. Okay. But it's beautiful. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's very nice. This is the uh, famous, uh, this is the famous Red Rooster Cafe. And what they're known for is making something called a pasty, which is some sort of pastry that's stuffed with different meat. Um, like I guess they do like either like Reuben and gyro, but traditionally I think it's like usually like a ground beef and potatoes what they, they were stuffed with. This, uh, this town is also related to Cornwall, England. I guess a lot of miners came from uh, Cornwall, England here to, uh, to mine here in the, uh, in the hills of uh, southwestern Wisconsin. And so there's a lot of uh, things that are very historic with this town. And, Yes, this Red Rooster Cafe and the, the Pacey's is something that came all, I guess, from England to the, to the States. Yeah, oh, that's good to know, huh? Yeah. There was the Iowa County Bank and Abstract Office built back in 1892. That's now what the Red Rooster Cafe is in right now. There's a lot of buildings that are part of the National Register of Historic Places in this town. Oh, and I love it on the sign right here. It says Chicken Crossing. Hey, I wonder if the chicken lady from uh, Miss Lillian from uh, from Dollywood's been here. The chicken lady. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, guys, that concludes our video of Mineral Point. Um. It was really nice. We froze our butts off because it was oh, yeah. like 32 degrees. Um, right now I can't feel my feet. I'm like really, really cold. My hands are cold. But it did make for a really nice uh, chili. I mean, it was really, oh, yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, the chili was great. Um, only like a small fraction of the stores were open because we were here a couple of months ago. And... Um, and there was a lot more stores that were open that, that that evening for the candlelight shopping back in December. Yeah, so not a lot of the stores were open, and um, but it was really nice. Mm -hmm. um, the chili was good. Um, yeah. We ended up voting for um, the cookies chili. Yeah. Um, I really loved it. I mean, that I ate good. the whole entire thing. It was so good. Mm -hmm. um, so. You know it was rather good and we really enjoyed ourselves yeah we, we might do this event again if we come up here in February next year and uh, yeah this was the lantern festival um they just started it this year so and we didn't know too much about it like we just drove into town and all of a sudden we saw something was going on and we thought hey what's going on we found this out and we're like hey this is really neat mm-hmm yeah, because we just drove into town earlier today because yeah. we were wanting to go to a couple shops here in town. And uh, we noticed that they were signing up for this ice lantern festival and chili cook off. And I'm like, oh, we should come back to town later and do this. Yeah, so um, we really want to appreciate you guys and thank you for watching. And if you really like this vlog, give it a like and give it a thumbs up. I really want to appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks. Thank you.